Hi, family. I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasia. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, please subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and enjoy. I'm sitting out in my garden. You see it's a little breezy out here, a little cool. But you know what? I just wanted some fresh air. I'm social distancing still, as I'm sure the rest of the world is. <sighs> Got to put on my nice mud cloth outfit. I've been having it for a long time. And my Cameroon root shirt. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I just want y'all to know I'm finally past 100 subscribers. <laughs> Woohoo! Power to the people. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know when I went from 80 something subscribers to over 100. I'm sure it's all going to be up from now on. Ah, as they say, as long as the Most High uh, says so too. But anyway, guys, I've been just chilling out because I, I don't really want to be exposed to a lot of people until it's my time to say uh, river dead you to this place and hello to the motherland and hear people say Aksel Akjama, which means welcome home. Every time I go to the motherland, I... I enjoy it. I really do. Whether it's Nigeria, Ghana, the Gambia, Cameroon, Tanzania, it all always sounds good to me. And I know just because I'm old, some people think I haven't done anything or gone anywhere, but yes, I've gone to the motherland lots of times. I started off going with my husband when I was a young woman in my 20s to Nigeria. We went to Isoluku, Nigeria. And then as an older person, I actually have gone to Ghana numerous times with, with the company and alone. I even went as a so-called volunteer over there and stayed with a host family. So I've had lots of experience traveling. Lots of, lots of experience traveling. Excuse if you hear any noises. I don't know why people like to make noise whenever I'm doing a video. Seems to be quiet before I start. But anyways, I'm letting you know that this is live recorded not that much edited because I'm not good at editing I'm just I'm learning how to do this stuff so please bear with me but anyways I've received some comments from people trying to be helpful I think <laughs> telling me about signing up for embassies when I go somewhere and being wary of people and all of that all I can say is, people, I do not borrow trouble. I just don't. Whatever can happen bad to me can happen here. It can happen in my dreams by just not waking up. The Most High is in control. That's all I can say. I cannot control my waking up or going to sleep even. You know, I pray that my journey on the on the plane to be safe every time I just get on the plane. Before I get on the plane, I, I be praying that whatever tests I take are negative because they just keep adding more tests for people to take and more immunizations for people to take. You know, it's just so much choices, choices, choices to take. So I just don't borrow trouble. You know, I don't see the worst in people until I have a reason to. And I am not made out of money anyway. So, 
And there's no reason for somebody to be warning me about spending my money that I don't have anyway. I use credit cards to get my tickets when I'm going someplace. I try my best to not use cash if I don't have to. I keep up with it as good as I can. I'm retired. I have limited income. So it's not like you're trying to give advice to Oprah or, or Oprah's relative, you know? So just relax yourself. You don't have to worry about me losing no life savings to anybody. I don't have a life savings to give anybody. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> I'm just blessed that my credit is okay enough to get a ticket to go where I need to go and me to have whatever little money I need to enjoy myself while I'm there, you know? And if I get low on funds, guess what? I can learn how to uh, get less things. I don't always have to keep buying things and things and more things. I'm not going to be a tourist when I go to Gambia this time. I'm not looking to buy fabric time I get there, find a dressmaker so she can make me something or the, the, the guy can, can uh, make me something. That's not what I'm after this time. I have things to do, places to go, people to see. I already have my adoptive family over there. I already have friends over there. I'm sure I'll make even more friends over there. At 67, I don't need anybody to think of me as a baby and that I need to be protected by anybody anywhere, you know? Whoever is giving me advice, I don't know y'all either, you know? So why would y'all be safer for me to listen to y'all than the other people, you know? I'm not saving, like I say, I'm not signing no life saving over to somebody because I have none anymore. I'm 67. I've spent my money enjoying my life. I helped some people, and I bought some stuff for myself. I mean, you see this outfit, I bought it, and I wore it. When I go, I can't take it with me. I cannot. Somebody might decide that they want to wear it, and then somebody might just decide to just put it in a goodwill box or whatever kind of box, you know, or just even just throw it away, you know? They may not even imagine that somebody else would enjoy something that can last at least a few lifetimes if people just took care of it. So anyways, I appreciate all of you. Uh, I do appreciate y'all's concern, but I am not a baby. I'm an adult. <laughs> I don't need anybody to try to scare the hell out of me to make me think I need your advice. You know, I've traveled a lot. I'm good. Nothing will happen to me that is not supposed to happen. How about that? Nothing. I cannot control bad things that happen. I can just pray that good things will happen to me. And then it's still up to some higher power to allow it or not allow it, you know? Good things and bad things happen to all people, you know? And I done made it to 67, thank God. I had lots of family and friends that didn't make it to be my age at all, and they didn't do anything. Some died of cancer before they even got to retire good, didn't even get to spend one retirement check, you know? Some of them just died before they was even born. So while people are enjoying their life, please don't borrow trouble for people. Let people enjoy their life one day at a time. And as for worrying about embassies or not embassies, I don't trust the government while I'm in this country. Why would I want to be uh, telling them about my whereabouts when I'm someplace else? You know, I know how to stay out of trouble. I know how to stay out of trouble. I don't be with nobody to get me into no trouble. 
birds of a feather truly flock together. But anyway, guys, like I said, I appreciate all of you guys. I love you all. Uh, I sure hope that y'all are reading new things. <laughs> I hope if y'all have a winter garden that they're doing okay. I hope wherever you are, the weather is fine. It's windy here, but I mean, I really like this cool. It feels like air conditioning. I don't have to turn on any air conditioning. I don't have to turn on any heater. Just wear a, a light blanket. That's all. But anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll be updating y'all from time to time, letting you know where I am at the time. Right now, I'm in my garden in the backyard in Galveston, Texas, USA. <laughs> And like I said, I don't borrow trouble, so please don't borrow trouble for me. I am not going to die before my time. Nothing bad is going to happen to me because I didn't do due diligence. If something bad happens, it's because bad things happen to people no matter what you do. No matter what you do. Somebody stole $7,000 out of my account, my checking account, and I was writing to somebody that I had bought magazines for for years and years. The bank did give it back, but that's not the point. The point is, it was like gone in, in, in a blink of an eye. Something that has to last for God knows how long. But it didn't matter to whoever stole it by just uh, washing a check that was less than $20, you know, less than a $20 check. And now the magazine company is saying, oh, we don't have any records of you sending us a check. Well, guess what? They'll never, because I'll never write another check as long as I live, because I learned my lesson that it's crooked people everywhere. This is in this USA. Somebody crooked stole the check out of the mail whether they stole it at the place where they work which is the magazine company or whether they stole it at the post office along the way only the most high knows i don't know did the police catch them i don't know you know and i'm not gonna be sleepless nights worrying about it but i'm just saying in general Bad things can happen to you, and it was beyond your control, beyond your control. You know, it's just thank God sometimes it's good safety measures that they can give you refunds. Thank God for that. You know, but you have to do your due diligence and have all kind of alerts on your accounts and keep checking, 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 making sure no slick crook and figure out how to get into your account to steal your money. You know, the little money that you call yourself saving. That if you don't wake up tomorrow, <laughs> you sure can't take it with you. You know, can't take nothing with you. So, anyways, I'm not into material things. You cannot take it with you. Please don't borrow trouble for me, oh. <laughs> I'm loving my life. I'm loving my people. <laughs> Don't borrow me no trouble, oh. <laughs> Power to the people. Peace. Peace. Blessings. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.